Okay class, going to show you how easy it is to make a dot plot using Jump software. Uh, if you happen to have uh, version 13 of the software or lower, um, it's tough to make a dot plot uh, using the chart builder. Um, so, But the way around that is to do the following. Uh, just go up here to the help menu and left click on where it says sample data. That opens up this window. Uh, come over here where it says teaching scripts. There's a triangle next to the word teaching scripts and left click on that triangle. Uh, then left click on teaching teaching demonstrations and then there should be a link here it says dot plot. Click on that link for dot plot and that'll open up your file for window here and what we need to do is open up the jump file that has the data in it. So navigate to the folder where you've got the jump file. I'll put a link to uh, the jump file I'm using in the description box below this video. It's example 2.5. So uh, let's see here. Double click that. It opens up this data table window. This window here, the data table. And also uh, this dot plot window. Uh, so this is a pretty easy a window to use. You're just going to come over here to the data column, left click and hold on your variable and drag it down to the x-axis and drop it in there. And that's how you get your dot plot. Um, we're probably interested in spreading this out a little bit. Um, want to want to see the plot spread out a little bit more along the x-axis so you can uh, resize the window. Um, you can also come up here and uh, change the size of the dots. Um, I noticed I noticed that that just resized my window. That's kind of strange, but okay. Um, you can come down here and change. Uh, click on right click on your x-axis title and you can change the font. Maybe I want to bold that and make it bigger. You can also, if you want the numbers along your x-axis to be bolded or uh, maybe you want those to be bigger, you can right click on the x-axis number and then left click where it says axis setting and that'll bring up this window here um, can change the settings over here uh, just left click where it says font and that brings up this window here maybe I want to bold that and change the size to 11 another thing you might want to do is uh, change the color of your dots or your background of your dot plot. You can just right click in the white space above the graph and um, there's options for background color, uh, marker size. Uh, you can change the size of your dots there as well. Um, another nice feature of this window is you can come up here and uh, if you need to get some of the summary statistics like the mean or the standard deviation, uh, you can get those pretty quickly. That shows up here on the graph. Um, so now you may, another thing you might want to do is uh, put an annotation on the graph, put your name on it or something like that. The way to do that is just come up here to the tools menu and then uh, left click where it says annotate. And then we can just drop in a text box down here, um, graph by Tim. You can uh, change the size of the box and you can change the size of your font um, just by right clicking and That'll open up this window. You can change the background color and text color and all that. It'll let you mess around with that. Um, you may want to uh, export this picture as an image file so that you can import it in or paste it into your um, document for your report, your Word document or your pages, whatever document you're using. Uh, just click on File and um, Save As. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna save the file change the file type, save it as a PNG or a JPEG, those are both image files, so that's one way to do that, and the file saves like this, uh, so that to me seems problematic. Right now I've got it opened up in Microsoft Paint, the new version of it, which I'm not very good at, but I'm gonna just click on edit, I wanna crop this thing, how can I crop it? Just left click on edit, it brings this up, I'm gonna click over here where it says crop, and I'm just gonna drag this down and can I drag this over okay and click on done and I guess save and okay so that's the way to crop out all that extraneous stuff so now I'm ready to take this image file and paste it into my 
uh, report. So that's how easy it is to use uh, to make a dot plot with jump.